I wanted to write something about the Mississippi Delta, and I'll be damned if a poem didn't spill out. First one I've written in a very long time. There is the long day's light and the sensual bath of the air and the sweet funk earthy breezes and the dark rich loamy red and brown and black soil and the green and yellow and white crops. There is the river, tranquil seeming to a visitor who hasn't lived through the flexing of its muscles when it busts out showing everyone and everything it permits to live by its banks just who's the boss. There's the sounds, the birds and frogs and bugs, the creak of trees and the rustle of brush and the breezes and wind, the bark of distant dogs, cough of a tractor, high squeal of a saw, rumble of distant thunder, rubber wheels rolling along black asphalt. There's the blues, of course the blues, born of and born on all the beauty and misery and majesty of the place, torn from the souls and guts and groins of the place, Drum-beaten, haunted, possessed rattling bones on taut flesh and on strings and on knees and tapped out by work boots on rough-hewn wooden floors. And the people, more than all else the people, rooted as the oldest oaks, tenuous and tendon strong as late summer cotton, near bursting with the bitter and sweet seeds and sap of blood and semen and sweat and bile and spit and piss and shit and love and joy and laughter and thoughts and words and all those wordless things too that speak loud and clear even when just in the faintest tickle of a whisper.